What's up Spanish students, this is Mark Hanish. I'm just taking my morning walk on my off day from high school. So it's an amazing day out and I love this. And I thought I would shoot a video about um, a few updates that I have for tutoring, especially for my students that have tutoring with me individually. Um, first thing, and I guess this is for everyone too, but um, first thing that I wanted to up you got, update you guys on, looking forward because I have to watch myself walk here. Um, the first thing is that I'm going to Spain this summer, super excited, from July 5th to August 9th. So I do plan on continuing to do um, videos when I'm there. I want to keep, keep updating um, and help you learn while I'm in Spain. So that's going to be very conversational, especially if you're in the kind of the grammar stage of my lessons. Um, those are going to be really, really helpful for you. Um, but if you have not, if you're maybe more of a beginner and maybe in the first two stages of my lessons, then it would probably be good to make sure you check in with me so that you know exactly what that plan looks like. And I'll have some kind of time while I'm in Spain to respond, but it's also vacation and I'm also practicing myself and I'm also kind of traveling myself. So um, make sure you, you get in touch with me as far as making goals and having a clear plan for that last month. And if you're ever, if any of you are thinking about having lessons with me, um, make sure to start those lessons like at least a month before. So let's just say June 5th would be a really good time to start doing lessons with me just so that you have at least a base and a kind of a direction that you want to go with the language. Um, so yeah, that's the exciting news. I get to go to Spain this summer revisit kind of old friends and maybe stay in a, a different city that I that I haven't before. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm out of breath here. I'm walking and talking. Um, second thing that I want to do, I'm going to turn around here. Um, second thing I wanted to talk, talk about was um, just to kind of encourage you guys with the, with the language. Um, I think like I've said before, it's completely possible for people to learn this, to learn this language. It's, it's just a fun experience, and I just want to encourage you guys to do that. And I think one of the best ways that, for me at least, has been to find a friend to speak Spanish with. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, you see a lot of, like, for example, Spanish speakers that come to the U.S., and they hear English all day, but they're not learning the language, right? I mean, there's been... I've worked with plenty of Spanish speakers that have been here for 10, 15, even 20 years, and they still don't know a lick of, of English. It's because they haven't um, kind of immersed themselves in the, in the language, and they haven't really seen a need to because there's a lot of Spanish speakers here. And so for you, learning Spanish or maybe a different language, I'd say the best thing that you can do is actually find a... Uh, a native speaker that's actually uh, like a friend. So you can do that through a lot of different ways. Um, obviously traveling to Spain or traveling to a different country is like the most direct way to find friends. But I also think, I mean, there's plenty of Spanish speakers in wherever you are, and especially where I am in Minneapolis, there's just a lot of Spanish speakers. So there's a lot of different opportunities for you to, to find someone. But I think that's where I find, I think that's where I've found the most kind of um, improvement is because I'll find a friend and I really want to communicate with them. But for example, at, my, at the beginning of my Spain trip a couple of years ago, I couldn't communicate as well as I wanted to. I couldn't show that sarcasm and um, kind of that fun side of me that I, that I usually can with a normal friend. And because of that, I wanted to get better. I was immersing myself in the language. And so for me, that's where I found most of my improvement was actually, man, I just wanted to, I just wanted to talk to someone. I wanted to um, connect with people. And that's, that's the biggest thing is if you can connect with a person, you're going you're gonna to learn the language so much faster. So I encourage you guys, um, yeah, keep going with these lessons. And yes, keep you know, learning vocab, learning pronunciation, keep going with the grammar, but that's not going to sustain you. It's all, all of that is so that you can connect with people and that's, what's truly fun. So, um, I just wanted to encourage you guys with that. Um, 
yeah, that's kind of updates for me. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and I guess the last update that I have for you, I'm going to turn around again. I'm getting in front of a garbage truck here. Um, the last update that I have is I'll be posting, um, hopefully posting. My dream is to kind of put um, training courses onto Udemy.com. If you've ever heard of that, it's basically, it's kind of like YouTube, except you have to pay for the courses. But what I like about that is that I can put kind of like a full course for example, pronunciation. I can put a full pronunciation course and everything is there for you, all the documents, and it's a lot it's a lot less expensive for my students and it can also reach a wider audience. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna be trying that for the first time here. Um, and so I'm trying, right now I'm in the process of learning a song. Um, it's by Ag Zurdo. If you wanna look him up, he's a fantastic kind of hip hop singer um and i'm trying to learn that right now as far as you know learning correct pronunciation i believe he's from costa rica but for me it doesn't really matter i i love to learn the accents of you know from different people and i in general i think costa rica has a pretty clean um spanish accent so that's kind of the fun project that i'm doing right now um and i hopefully i'm gonna re release that udemy course um fairly soon so keep an eye out for that I'll be updating students as well but I go through I'm gonna be going through the process of how do you actually learn a song um, how do you slow it down how do you kind of take it chunk by chunk so that you can um, learn it really efficiently and practice your pronunciation kind of like what we've been doing in our in our lessons or my videos um, whatever you're practicing with so yeah that's it um, hope you have an awesome day. Keep studying, keep working hard, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.